Okay, today is August 2nd, unfiltered week number 11. Um, I just needed to recap to myself, uh, Chris, why are you doing these unfiltered videos? It's not to, it's not like for your fans or anything like that, or to express or teach. It's really for myself. Um, if I didn't make these videos, I probably wouldn't bother reflecting. So it's kind of keeping myself accountable, you know. By making this video, it's like, okay, you've at least done some level of reflection this week, and here's the proof. Okay. Um, so a lot of cool stuff this week. Some good luck with the ladies. Um, I at a hostel. I, I met this girl at a hostel, and she was from Alaska, and it was really cool because I felt like I was pretty brave. I drew like a little comic strip. It was really funny. Um, it's like she was in a bunk, and then you know she was all in like a canopy thing and then I called her out you know to talk to her and that was like really funny and like this is a comic strip of what I think Alaska looks like but she was saying that Alaska looks pretty normal so hope you guys saw that I, I, I have no idea um, but that was that was really cool and we might even hang out next week because um, she's staying um, for a while in California for like two weeks um, another thing is uh, this girl I really liked called me on the phone to the, uh, this week to wish me a happy birthday and that's really cool because I've been trying to call this girl for a long time you know uh, but she never called me back so it was really cool uh, to talk to her I was, I was really happy and um, lastly I think last week I said I was gonna make an OK Cupid uh, profile a dating profile and um, it's it's really hard to get girls a girl responded to me and this is really unprecedented <laughs> in a way because um, what I tried to do with this profile, you know, from like a, a marketing perspective is instead of trying to make myself self sound really cool, I, I tried to be really authentic with myself as much as possible. My, my username was a Charming Dork. You know, I use Dork in my name because I think I'm kind of like nerdy and dorky. And I was like, okay, but I kind of think that's what I am. I'm like a little bit clumsy at times, but I think I'm kind of cool too. Um, and you know what was really interesting was one of my friends, female friends from New York, suggested that I put that I was a virgin in my profile, which which is true, you know. And it was like, why would any guy want to admit that? Because it's so like shameful, you know. The guys, you know, want to be players and stuff, right? Or I don't know. But anyways, um, I messaged this girl, and then she messaged me back after reading my profile, and she commented saying like, oh, that's really cool, you know, you know about like the not being into sex thing on your profile, which kind of got wrong. But anyways, the point was she was really interested. And she thought I was really interesting and weird at the same time. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of what I am. I'm kind of weird, but I'm kind of interesting too. And it was really cool because I, I feel like it was the first time that I was like, wow, I'm embracing my flaws, you know? I think society would say that if you're a guy who's 27 now and you're a virgin, man, something is like fucking wrong with you, dude. Like you need to get laid. But I'm like, okay, so let's say maybe that's like a flaw, you know, I'm sexually inexperienced. But I put that out there, I owned it, and you know, a girl's like, hey, you know, that's, that's really cool. And then I'm like, oh wow, so maybe, you know, it's okay to have flaws. And that's kind of what I've been doing with Unfiltered too. Basically, I've been airing out my dirty laundry saying stuff that I messed up on, um, my errors and like stuff that kind of messed up throughout the weeks and a lot of people have been responding to it in a really heartfelt way saying that hey that's me too you know and I think that was um, definitely really cool let's see um, blah 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 birthday party this week um, what else um, oh hey and um, basically at work the accountant accounting department I realized that they shortchanged my paycheck by $400, you know, and when I went to, you know, um, tell them about it the first time, they're like, oh, they kind of gave me a hard time about it. And the um, af uh, day after I told them, they, they didn't adjust it. And I'm like, hey, and then I was literally, I was almost going to let it go. I was going to be like, hey, you know, you know what, I really like working for the company. I told you guys, you guys forgot to do it. I'm just going to let it go. I was seriously was going to just not speak up and I don't know why maybe it's because I was because I was given a hard time about it and I almost gave up but um, yeah that was really interesting but good thing my friend Jonathan he was like yeah you should speak up man and I spoke up and that was really cool 
and um, yeah, just like in two weeks, I'm, I, 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 I told the account person in charge of accounting, and in two weeks, I'm just going to remind them again. But um, yeah, that's really unlike me to almost give up. Okay, lastly, um, okay, had a birthday party. Um, oh, well, it was interesting, learning gratitude, okay. So basically, I had a birthday party. I, I don't usually have one, but I had a housewarming birthday party. And I had about like 10, maybe 12 friends over. And my mom was out, and then when she came back, you know, she started to clean the kitchen, you know. And I can tell she was really tired and frustrated and kind of like pissed off, you know. And I was kind of angry at her because I was like, man, she's such like a party downer, you know. She's, she's like destroying the mood of the party. I can't relax because like now I'm cleaning up, you know. And actually, I was lit legitimately angry at her, you know. And then it wasn't until like, like the next morning when I kind of thought about it, I reflected like, why am I angry? And I was like, wait a second, you're angry that your mom is helping you clean up the party that you threw. You know, it's like, this, you should be grateful for this. And it took me a while to realize that, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I wanted to share that. Um, same thing with um, the guy who was doing payroll. Like, I was really angry at him, but at the same time, what in him do I see in myself, you know? Um, another thing is, there was, I booked a stay at a hostel, and what happened was, um, they said I couldn't, I couldn't stay there because I'm from the local area, and they gave me like 48 hours notice before my reservation. And I was like, you guys are so last minute, you know? I was so, I was so uh, angry, you know? I knew that they kind of had a policy, but um, it wasn't like crystal clear as to what. So I was just angry at the person for being last minute and irresponsible. But at the same time, I felt like, you know, I'm kind of last minute and irresponsible too. Um, there's like the saying like, um, whenever you're angry at someone, it's because, you know, you point one finger at them and four fingers at yourself it's like there's something in them that you don't like about yourself and um, you know I, tr I try to do that I think it really helps I don't like to play the victim you know because when you're playing the victim you're kind of relinquishing control but once you're like okay what what am I really mad at like what am I trying to learn here what is this what is the lesson I'm trying to learn in this situation okay so whatever okay so lessons this week one, try, try again, um, just like with girls, you know, for a while, I haven't done dating in a long time, and um, it's just because, you know, recently broke up, well, not recently, dude, I broke up with my girlfriend like half a year ago, <laughs> but um, I, it's been such a long time since I've kind of tried, and gradually, I'm, I'm kind of getting back on the horse again, you know, and I, I got rejected a couple times, but, you know, eventually it'll work. Um, gratitude, just being grateful. Um, oh, this reflection is not organized at all. And lastly, oh, I went swimming this week. That's why I'm outside right now. I'm by LA Fitness. Um, I lost my goggles this week. And when I went swimming, I realized that, oh shoot, I, I can't swim without my goggles, you know. And it was really weird. But um, I realized, oh, I don't have goggles. I don't like swimming in the water with my head down. And then I started doing backstroke. And then I was like, oh, cool. This is like, I don't have goggles and I don't usually do this. So it's like when, I don't know, maybe it's one door, one door opens, another one door closes, another door opens, or sometimes like something bad happens, but there's an opportunity that comes out of it that you may not expect. So that's kind of what I learned. All right, that's enough. Thank you, bye.